So, we'll be using this Clo3D tool to create the biker jacket. But where exactly do we start? Here's how I make sense of it. And no, this is not some Facebook conspiracy theory, but rather how designers see the bigger picture. A fancy blazer, a trench, a bomber jacket, they're all t-shirts. It's a big dub on the silhouette, but we're just getting started here. So next up... We'll use internal lines to add every single seam from the original. Just have a look at this. I'm selecting the internal lines, right-clicking, doing cut and sew, and see what happens here. The jacket is now cut and split and it's absolutely delightful. The design is basically done, but I couldn't help but feel there were just too many components. And did I mention that we would make it out of top grain calf leather and that Andrada has never sewn leather before in her life? And we both feel like she might just be ready. So, in the left corner, the mean green sewing machine, Billy Jean, who doesn't like custard cream. And in the right corner, made from over 400 euros worth of top grain leather. Oh my God, will we regret this? The Balenciaga inspired biker jacket. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. Too much. Whoops. We only managed to mark the leather and cut the individual components. Which was a bit anticlimactic since we didn't face our main fear, the sewing part. But you know what they say, be careful what you wish for. And the next day the wish was finally granted.
The plan worked impeccably, but nothing came close to this next step. What I'm trying to say is sewing a square inside of a square hole is already one of the most difficult jobs. Now try to do it out of leather and make one of the pieces a lot stiffer through quilting. As much as we dreaded this next step, we couldn't postpone it anymore. And so, after four days of trials and tribulations, will I have a new favorite biker jacket? Find out in the next episode. Just kidding. Come on, do the reveal. This is Bika, my grandma. I went over to see if she had any pictures of me wearing the Ferrari jacket. And while I was there, I couldn't resist but have her model. Which was so fun because she seemed to really enjoy the attention, the cameras, the lights, everything. Now I know where I got that from. I wanted to know what she really thought of the jacket. She probably thought it was my design so she didn't want to insult me. But when you hear grandma compliment anything you do, take it with a grain of salt cause she'll never call you out. <laughs> or maybe she will? Balenciaga, next time you want to put out a design, you know who to call for an opinion. And all jokes aside, it was time to finally ask about the Ferrari jacket. And what she had to say literally shook me to my core. Was I gaslit by my parents? Is this why I don't have any pictures of me wearing the jacket? Cause I never liked it in the first place? The news hit me like a ton of bricks. And now I'm left questioning if this video should even be posted. But after all of this, I do still love the jacket. I love the fact that the lining is not attached to the body. I love every single seam line, but the jacket is still not done. It's missing one crucial component, the shoulder pads. At the moment, they're a bit... And the jacket is so goddamn big that the regular shoulder pad wouldn't even come close to filling in the shoulders. Not even 20 of them. I don't think they would put a dent in this. The only solution is to create custom shoulder pads. This is some Italian wool for the actual shell. This I'm gonna use as a filler because it has structure. The same material you can find in Pharrell Williams' this hat. These are the pads. I want to leave some of the seam allowances out in order to be able to connect them to the jacket. Have a look at this, now it has the felt inside. If you really want to impress her, regular pad, custom pad. Psst. Boom, all padded up. I'm still quite salty about the Ferrari jacket situation. But on the bright side, I got to share my passion with the people that I hold near and dear to my heart. And I'm not gonna lie, that kind of sweetened the whole situation for me. And instead of dwelling on those missing memories that my parents gaslit me into believing, why don't I try to create some new ones with my brand new favorite biker jacket? So I guess there's only one thing left to do. Towel, check, biker jacket. See you in the next one.